first of all, let me say this. I understand that Zesty Rolanda Martin, I understand that Zesty Rolanda Martin, I understand Zesty Rolanda Martin, who I got kicked off of News One Now for hating, his views dropped and he got dropped. When Zesty Rolanda Martin had me on News One Now with his panel of coons, after that showing, the Dr. Umar Ifatunde support base, Germaniac Nation, the Ifatunde acts, boycotted Roland Martin's show on News One Now. They, his views dropped and they dropped him. Zesty Rolanda, Zesty Rolanda fell off after he tried to come for the Prince of Pan-Africanism. His views dropped and News One Now dropped that receding hairline, no neck Negro. I'ma deal with Rolanda when I get back to the States after Panama. I'ma deal with Zesty Rolanda. I'ma deal with that Democratic Party plantation slave driver when I get back from Panama, but I'm not gonna deal with Zesty Rolanda right now. I'm not gonna deal with Zesty Rolanda right now. I'ma deal with Zesty Rolanda a little bit later. I'm going to deal with Zesty Rolanda a little bit later. Okay? Okay? Now, I see Vlad put up another clip with Mav Hoffa with my name in the clip. I don't think that he, I don't think that was uh, respectful of him to try to use that brother to try to uh, attack me but I see he put my name in another Mav Hoffa clip I'm going to check out the clip and respond if I need to I'm going to check out the clip and respond if I need to but I respect the brother Mav Hoffa because Vlad tried to pull him in he was about to go for the bait for a minute he was about to take the bait for a minute but then he pulled back so I can respect him on that I heard the Democratic Republic of the Congo to airlift Palestinian refugees to the Congo. I'm talking to my Congolese Africans right now. I'm talking to my Congolese Africans right now. Can somebody help me understand why the Congolese government would even consider bringing Palestinian refugees into the Congo? Can somebody help me overstand, understand, and understand? Can somebody help me understand, overstand, and understand why the Congolese government would consider bringing Palestinian refugees to the Congo? I'm against it for three reasons. I'm not against the Palestinians getting refuge. I'm not against the Palestinians getting refuge. I'm against the Palestinians getting refuge in the Congo. Number one, number one, Arabs are racist against African people. Arabs are racist against African people. We cannot have Palestinians coming to the Congo mistreating African people. That's number one. Number two, they will be weaponized by the Arab power structure. They will be weaponized by the Arab power structure to gentrify the land and occupy the resources. They will be weaponized by the Arab power structure to gentrify the land and weaponize the resources against indigenous Congolese Africans. Against indigenous Congolese Africans. Against indigenous Congolese Africans. So I'm not supporting that. I'm not supporting that. I am not supporting Palestinian refugees coming to the Congo that is not going to end well for Africa. If we if we allow that to happen in 20 years, if we allow Israel to force the Congolese government, if we allow Israel to force the Congolese government to airlift Palestinian refugees to the Congo, the richest piece of land on the planet Earth, the richest piece of land on the planet Earth. If we allow Arabs to come into the Congo in 25 years, what do you think the Congo will look like? In 25 years, what do you think the Congo will look like? In 25 years, what do you think the Congo will look like? The Arabs will colonize the Congo. This is an Arab power structure initiative. This is nothing but the Arab power structure. Why can't they take them to du Dubai? 
Why can't they go to the United Arab Emirates? Why can't they go to Morocco or Egypt? Why can't they go to any of, why can't they go to Iran or Iraq or Kuwait? Why do Palestinian refugees need to come to the richest continent on the face of the, excuse me, the richest country on the richest continent on the face of the earth? I vote no. 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 I am totally against it. I want them to get refuge. Don't get me wrong, brothers and sisters. We wish goodwill on all human beings. I want the Palestinians who need safety and security to be airlifted out of Palestine to safety and security, but they need to go to an Arab state. They need to go to an Arab country. They cannot come to the Congo. That is nothing but economic strategy by the Arab nations trying to get Arabs in the Congo so they can start robbing and stealing the land and the resources. I am against it. I also heard that there was supposed to be a, a lecture event in Ghana featuring the former AU ambassador, Empress Arikana, and the good brother PLO Lumumba, and Julius Malema, and a brother from Nigeria. They were supposed to be speaking in Ghana this weekend, yesterday, tomorrow, I don't know the date, but recently they were supposed to speak in Ghana and allegedly the president of Ghana canceled the event. Next time y'all need to have the Prince of Pan-Africanism on the lineup. Next time y'all need to have the Prince of Pan-Africanism on the lineup. No disrespect, but if you're having a meeting of the minds with African leadership and you don't have the Western Hemisphere represented, it's not complete. You African brothers and sisters on the continent, don't be chauvinistic Pan-Africanists. Don't be bougie Pan-Africanists. Don't be elitist Pan-Africanists. Don't be discriminatory Pan-Africanists. If y'all having a Pan-African meeting of the minds and you don't have Dr. Umar Ifatunde on the lineup to represent the interests of Pan-Africanists in the Western world, then that program was incomplete anyway. You can quote me. You can tell her and you can tell them. I'm going to say it again. Why wasn't the diaspora represented on that four person lineup? I'm asking the question, Brother Malema, Brother PLO Lumumba, Empress Arikana, and my brother from Nigeria. Why wasn't the diaspora represented in Ghana for that program? Why wasn't the diaspora represented? I should have been on that lineup. Why was I not? Y'all excluding me? Y'all discriminating against Dr. Umar? Y'all discriminating against the Caribbean? Y'all discriminating against Central American Africans and South American Africans and Canadian Africans and American Africans? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. And if y'all believe I should not have been there, I welcome a debate with any one of you on the future of Pan-Africanism. If y'all believe that the American Pan-Africanist, if y'all believe the Western Hemisphere, because I'm representing the entire Western Hemisphere, from the Caribbean to the South American Africans, my Central American Africans, my Caribbean Africans, my Canadian Africans, I'm representing the whole West. My American Africans, why wasn't I invited to that? Why did y'all leave out the diaspora? Why did y'all leave out the Western Hemisphere? I'm talking to Empress Arikana, I'm talking to Julius Malema, I'm talking to PLO Lumumba, I'm talking to the brother from Nigeria. Why was the diaspora not represented in that lineup y'all had in Ghana? I'm talking to all four y'all. I'm talking to all four y'all. Why wasn't the diaspora represented? I'm talking to all four y'all. And don't get cute with your response. Because I will challenge you to a debate in your country. Don't get cute with the response. I will challenge you to a debate in your own country. Don't get cute with the response. Why wasn't the diaspora represented? Why wasn't the diaspora represented? Why wasn't the pan-Africanists of the Western Hemisphere represented? We back to that chauvinistic continental pan-Africanism? Are we back to that chauvinistic Continental Pan-Africanism? Are we back to that chauvinistic 
continental pan-Africanism. Don't play with me. Don't nobody want to smoke with the prince of pan-Africanism. Don't nobody want to smoke with the prince of pan-Africanism. But once again, brothers and sisters, hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. If you live in Miami, I have two questions. I need to know a good soul food, seafood, or African ethnic food restaurant. I repeat. I just got off the flight from Jamaica. Shout out to my Jamaican Africans. Shout out to my Jamaican Africans. Shout out to my Jamaican Africans. I enjoyed the Maroon Fest in a compound. Can't wait to go back next year. It was great. Shout out to Chief Curry. Shout out to the whole a Kung Pong Maroon Kingdom. It was fantabulous. Can't wait to come back. But now I'm back in America. And tomorrow I head to Central America. I said, I'm back from Jamaica. I'm overnight in Miami. And tomorrow I head to Central America for the first time. Where my Central American Africans at? Where are my Central American Africans, I want to see everybody in Panama. Tomorrow, I'm pulling up in Panama City. Tomorrow, I'm pulling up in Panama City. And on Wednesday, I'm speaking in Cologne City at the same park Marcus Garvey spoke. I repeat, I will be keynoting in Cologne City on Wednesday. Cologne City Panama on Wednesday in the same park that the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey spoke at. Tomorrow is Panama City. Wednesday is going to be Cologne City. If you need the phone numbers, let me give my Central American Africans the phone numbers that they can call if you're trying to find out where Dr. Umar is going to be because I'm going to be all around Panama. I'm going to be all around Panama. I'm going to be all around Panama, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the first half of Thursday. I said I'm going to be all over Panama, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and half of Thursday. And I want to see all of my Central American Africans from Honduras to Belize to Panama. I want to see all of you. I want to see all of you. The phone number in Panama. To find out where I'm going to be. The phone number in Panama to find out where I'm going to be is plus 507 6502 7615. The other number you can call for my Central American Africans is plus 507 6879 6574. Or you can message me with direct text or WhatsApp, my cell number. It's plus one, two, one, five, nine, eight, nine, nine, eight, five, eight. I loved Jamaica as always. My Jamaican Queens, where are my Jamaican African Queens at? How do I look at my Jamaican hoodie? Where my Jamaican African Queens at? My Jamaican African Queens, where y'all at? My Jamaican African Queens in the United Kingdom. My Jamaican African Queens in the United States. My Jamaican African Queens on the island of Jamaica. Do I look good in my Jamaican colors? Do I look good in my, I'm talking to the queens right now. Beta males behave. Do I look good in the, in, in the Jamaican flag right now? The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. But this is what I wanted to ask my Miami Africans. This is what I wanted to ask my Miami Africans. I need a recommendation for a black restaurant. If you have the recommendation for a good black restaurant in Miami, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. So do you have some American African soul food restaurant recommendations? Do you have some continental African restaurant soul food recommendations? I'll take some 
Cuban African food. I'll take some Puerto Rican African food. I'll take some Dominican Republic African food. I'll take some Ethiopian, but I need to eat family. The Prince of Pan-Africanism needs to eat. The Prince of Pan-Africanism needs to eat. I'm in Miami and I'm hungry. If you have a restaurant recommendation for the most requested black scholar in the world, if you have a restaurant recommendation for the most relevant black scholar in the world, if you have a restaurant recommendation for the most revolutionary black scholar in the world, please text my phone. Please text my phone. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. Let me see if anybody texts my phone. 215-989-9858. Let me see if anybody texts my phone. Do I got any restaurants? Get off the live and call me. <laughs> Queen, we're going to do your interview. We're going to do your interview. But we're not going to do it until I'm back in the United States. I'm resting in Miami, fresh from Jamaica. Tomorrow I head to the Republic of Panama in Central America. You will hear from me afterwards. Does anybody have a restaurant recommendation? Ladies, stop sending me inappropriate pictures. Stay away from Trick Daddy, he can't cook. Trick Daddy got a Miami restaurant. Where Trick Daddy restaurant at? Where Trick Daddy, Trick Daddy got, what he got? He got some ribs? I'll pull up the Trick Daddy spot. Trick Daddy got a restaurant in Miami? Does Trick Daddy have a restaurant in Miami? I don't have a problem supporting my black brother. I don't have a problem supporting my black brother. Somebody text me the address. Somebody stay away from Trick Daddy, he can't cook. Leave Trick Daddy alone, brothers and sisters. Let people on the live. Y'all want to go live with the prince? I'm hungry right now. Did you get my magnet while you flirting on the phone? Who else texting me? 215-989-9858. Who want to go live? Let's tap in. Who tapping in? I need to eat. Do I got any rest of my recommendations for Miami? Y'all ain't got no restaurant recommendations for me, sir. Ain't nobody, sir. This is all flirtations. This is all queens acting feisty. Sunday's Eatery, good soul food, African place. Sunday's Eatery. Or good soul food? Wait a minute. Sunday's Eatery? Sunday's Eatery. Okay, there's a soul food joint called Sunday's Eatery in Miami Gardens. Thank you for that, family. Thank you for that recommendation. We got Sunday soul food. We got Sunday soul food. We got Sunday soul food. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. <laughs> 